Academic activities have resumed in uh, the Kaduna State University for the 2020-2021 academic session. Returning and new students are coming on campus to discover something strange. A memo asking them to get their parents and guardians to sign a form guaranteeing they will be of good conduct. The school says students who demonstrate will be expelled. This is coming as institution's tuition fees have been increased, but the state government says it will co caution this with a scholarship and loan scheme. And joining us to talk about this is the Executive Secretary of the Kaduna State Scholarship and Loans Board, Ruwan Hassan. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, yes, thank you very much for having me. All right, let, let's first of all start with talking about the recent increment in school fees in the Kaduna State University. Uh, what's your view on this? Yeah, so the increment in tuition fee is not only in Kaduna State University. It's actually an increment in all state-owned um, tertiary institutions in Katna State. And uh, this increment is, uh, is extremely necessary, is uh, long overdue. Uh, if we use Katna State University as a case in point, uh, the, since 2004, when the tuition fee for Katna State University was set at 26,000 naira, it has never been increased. Of course, we know that there's nothing in 2004 to date that remain the same. Even when you want to study medicine, a course like medicine, we all know that, that you can't use 26,000 to study a uh, medical course. So, but what the government is doing is the government is trying to see how to bring this fee to at to par with reality so that we don't subsidize for those that can afford to pay the government has segregated i mean has divided the student into three we have the first set of students who come from wealthy home their parents can pay even if it is one million naira, their parents can afford to pay it they've been paying it they're paying it for their siblings in uganda and sudan and in europe so we cannot be subsidizing for them we have the second set of people who, who earn a, a decent wage, but it may be difficult for them to, you know, pay this money at once. And that is why the, the, the state government institutionalized, you know, a two billion naira education loan scheme. Kaduna State is the first subnational to put this two billion naira loan scheme in place. It's been on since December 2019. We have the last set of people. Those are the people that are indigent. These are people that even the 26,000 naira cannot be paid by them. So government wants to identify them and make sure that we don't allow them to drop out from school. Okay. So the narration should move away from reduction of school fees, but to move into let's ensure everybody that you know is of school age and it comes from a poor home, let's ensure that they have school and um, they are able to go into to school. And this is what we are doing. Kaduna right. State has a social register that has over two million poor people. This social register has about 27,658 people that are in tertiary institution. So what we are doing currently is we're integrating this data into our scholarship database so that once the student apply, they will be fast tracked and it goes straight to the for the university to vet their studentship and immediately their tuition fees will be paid. So this tuition fee is not targeted at dropping people out of school. It is targeted at ensuring this is there to make sure that so, um, Kaduna State University begin to go towards financial autonomy while we ensure that um, those that cannot afford to pay, government take up the responsibility of paying. All right. um, Mr. Hassan, can you give us an idea of the number of beneficiaries um, of, the, of course, the various types of scholarship and loans that you've talked about? What's a, is there a figure that you can share with us? So, um, before now, we have a bursary in place. Every student gets 109000 as at February 2021, when we suspended payment in view of this recent development, we had paid about 6,858 students. These students have earned 109,000. You will agree with me, there is no state in Nigeria that pays bursary of that amount to a student. Canada State have been paying this thing not for, I mean, for, for years now. Now, this, but what was happening is, the, once you write an essay and you qualify, you earn this 109,000, irrespective of, of your economic background. So in view of this recent um, increment, we've decided to, you know, to target our resources towards those that are needy. So we, have, um, we are replacing the bursary with the need-based local scholarship. So going forward, this need-based local scholarship is targeted only for those that are poor. And how do we identify them? People are meant to, su to, to supply us their parent tax certificates so that we can get, we can try and do some economic rating to understand the financial standing of their families. If their parents are late, they should provide us with the death certificate. Now, we've, it has brought some interesting results. We've had people, we've had a, a particular person, for example, whose annual turnover was 32 million naira, and that person went on to 
apply for a need-based scholarship. So if you, I mean, why will such a person be looking for a need-based scholarship? So if you have students that, that are earning, 20, that are paying 26,000, so if you have a family like from that, that, from that family that is in Kasu, he should also pay 26,000, government should subsidize for that person. You know, we need to begin to do selective, I mean, sorry, targeted subsidy in Nigeria. All right, Let's great. target those that um, subsidy. Mr. Let's Mr. Hassan. target subsidy for everyone. All right, um, nicely explained, you know, but just before we go, I want you to quickly respond to this. Um, would it, well, would you rather have the government subsidize education and make it affordable for students uh, with this two billion naira instead of giving these funds to, uh, you know, as loans to the people that you mentioned, or you mentioned it now? So like I said, three categories, I've told you the first, category we're not subsidizing the second category are middle class people i told you the, the people that are in a, I mean, a good wage i mean a, i mean a, a decent wage if these people cannot pay at once there's two billion that they can go in they can access to get to pay their tuition immediately and they can repay back later so if a student is paying one fifty thousand now and hundred thousand for a returning student it means he will need about four hundred and fifty thousand in the life of his education four fifty thousand in five years a single digit that student will pay less than ten thousand a parent will pay less than ten thousand um, naira on a monthly basis for that student to go to school so now but the people that are poor the indigent the people that people are talking about they'll be dropped out of school they, they do, our target for them is not loan our target for them is the need-based scholarship. So and that need-based scholarship, the funds are available. For them, the, whatever is the tuition, we will pay for them. All the right. governor, the um, Honorable Commissioner for Education, and in my, our office, we've consistently informed the student that nobody will drop out of school on account of inability to pay, except okay. if that person did not apply for that, um, for that scholarship. All right, Rowan Hassan, thank you very much for joining us, and we hope that we can uh, extend this conversation uh, at a later time. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.